As I've spoken with dozens of recruiting professionals over the last few months, I noticed that you all have one thing in common. You're all extremely busy. And with all the fires that you have to put out every single day, it's understandable that a mishire might slip in every once in a while. No biggie, right? Wrong. A bad hire can cost a company as much as 30% of that employee's annual earnings. Let's do a little math. Using BLS average wage data for leisure and hospitality workers, it looks like a bad hire can carry a price tag of $13,000. Ouch. And while mistakes do happen, there are a few small things you can do to drastically reduce the risk of hiring the wrong person. Today's hiring hack brings you four steps to do just that. Number one, set specific standards. There are a few non-negotiables for every role and for your organization at large. And while some of them might seem self-evident, it can never hurt to write them all down. As you do, you'll probably identify a few requirements that you may have missed, or you'll find some that it's okay to skip. And don't go it alone. Invite trusted team members and hiring managers to contribute to the process as well, so everyone's in agreement about your list of must-haves. Number two, create a rubric. Ah, uh, rubrics. You may remember them from your first driver's test or maybe from college. Rubrics have one primary purpose, to make sure that someone is evaluated fairly and consistently. Once you've written down all the non-negotiables for your roles and company, use that list to create a clear system for evaluating your candidates. And no matter who's involved in the hiring process, coach them so they use the rubric. Doing so will maintain a high level of candidate quality and a fair process for everyone. Rubric, rubric, rubric. Man, that word starts to get weirder and weirder the more you say it. Number three, include standards in job descriptions. Remember how you work to create a list of requirements for each role? Good thing, because you're using that again in this step. Include your list of must-haves in every job description so potential candidates know exactly what you're prioritizing. Promoting these publicly is also a great way to find potential candidates who are looking for similar standards in their employer. Number four, revisit annually. Priorities change over time and so should your standards. Try to revisit them at least once a year, if not more. Include other members of your team just as before, and then allow those updates to percolate down to your scoring rubrics and your job descriptions. R rubrics, rubrics. Thank you so much for watching today's hiring hack. We hope it helps you dodge the occasional mishire and increase your average applicant quality at the same time. Bye.